question that I have been asked the very most is, how has Andrew's conversion to Islam affected your brotherhood? How has it affected your relationship? Is it going to affect your relationship? Is it going to be strange living in a household um, with two faiths? Are you going to convert? These are a bunch of questions that have obviously come through, and I'm going to try to answer all of them uh, within the next few minutes. So, Andrew's initial point um, about Islam he was making many months ago, before he officially went loud with his conversion. I knew about his, his thoughts and, uh, you know, the way his, his heart was leaning for a very long time. And Andrew made a very good point, a very strong point. And his point about Islam was this. He said, if you walk around uh, a, a Catholic country, a country like Italy, and you insult Jesus Christ, or if you walk around England and you insult Jesus Christ, you could say offensive things about him. You could tell an English person or an Italian, here you go, say something bad about Jesus Christ or, or your God. Here's some money. Will you do that? And people would do that largely as a whole. Um, and also saying bad things about you know, Jesus Christ and their God. Nobody would face any repercussions. You could walk around the street freely saying these slanderous things, which is very rude and very impolite. And nobody would do anything about it. However, in the Muslim world, you see where I'm going here, such an example is simply unthinkable. A Muslim would never insult his own prophet. He'd never insult his own God. And, and that too, if you were in a Muslim country or even in the presence of Muslim people and you were to insult their God or, or their prophet, they would be absolutely furious. Someone might even punch you in the face. And that's very fair enough. But what Andrew failed to mention, which is a point that I think I'm going to raise right here, is there are people in the world who will punch you in the face if you insult Jesus Christ and if you insult, um, uh, if you insult Jesus Christ or the Virgin Mary or anything. And those people are the Muslims. Now, if you don't know religion and you don't know religious history very well, then I guess you don't know that one of the most, prophet, one of the most important prophets in Islam is Jesus, son of Mary, as they refer to him, or Jesus Christ, as us Christians call him. So this Dubai, the Middle East, the United Arab Emirates, the Muslim world is a part of the world where you cannot walk around and freely insult Jesus. So I feel perfectly at home in the Middle East, and I feel perfectly at home living with my brother, who is now a Muslim. He's going to put a Quran up above his title belts in the house. I have no problem with that book being in my house. I am very happy um, for my brother and the decision he made. I think that it's going to benefit him uh, in the long run. I think that he's a lot happier than I've seen him in a very long time, and good for him. Now, I was asked about my own conversion or potential conversion, and, and here was my answer.